Mr. Jared, I'm going to teach you an easy way how to lay out the rafter for, for the knock detach. All right. So what you want to have is you want to have your framing square. Um, you also want to have these stair gauges right here. Okay, stair gauges. Makes it nice and easy to get things done. So the first thing you want to do, you want to do your plumb cut. Let's just say you take a 6 12 pitch. Okay, you want to do your plumb cut. So here we go. Everything's set up. You slide it right there. Put it right at the edge. The corner right here. That's going to be your plumb cut right here. This first line is going to be your plumb cut. This is where it meets the ridge beam at the top of the house, the peak. All right. Um, I think it may be. Let's just go. Let's just say they want a rafter that's 48 inches with an overhang of four inches. All right. So what we're going to do is from the corner right here. Let's measure 48 inches. Okay, we'll do three inches. Three inches. All right, we'll put a mark right there. Now, from right from the ridge beam to right here, okay, that's going to be three three feet, thirty six inches. All right, first thing you want to do is you want to draw a line. All right, that's it. All right, so now we want to worry about our C cut, where it actually sits on the exterior of the wall, okay? So what you want to do is you want to put this back on. From this line right here, you want to measure up an inch and a half. Okay, that's an inch and a half. That's going to be our C, a bird's mouth right here our seat cut, okay? This is going to get cut out. So now what happens is we're going to work on our overhead. So what we're going to do, this line that we did right here, easy way to do it is, let's line it up on zero, the corner of the framing square, let's measure, let's just say a six inch overhead. All right, let's look on the framing square, one inch, two inch, three inch, four inch, five inch, six inches. Put a mark right here. Now all we're going to do is slide this over. Okay. Slide that over, draw a line. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, this is all you have to do. We have to connect these two lines. So let's slide this over. And we, when we reach the bottom of this line right here to this line, this is where we're going to draw. All right, so this comes off. That comes off, that comes off, and that's it. Real simple. We have our plumb cut right here, 36 inches. And draw a line. Remember, right here, we measure up inch and a half so it sits on the plate. Right here, we have our six inch overhead. Draw our line, connect these two lines, put our X's, cut them out. That's all you need for the knock beat.